So I was asked to uh, look at this on um, one of Facebook's groups. Um, this is fairly straightforward in flow rhythm, but there are a couple of issues. Uh, in flow rhythm, we can't have a constant, so I'm going to just use that as a parameter. And um, in flow rhythm, you can only pass by value, not pass by reference. So these function calls with the parameters have to change slightly, in that you have to pass and return the parameters. Um, but otherwise, um, it's fairly straightforward. So let's have a look at the solution. So there's the um, contribution rate. I've done it as a uh, just as a normal variable. I've got it in capital letters, so it makes it look like it was a, um, a constant. And then I've declared the variables, but with um, flow with them, because you're going to pass them out, you've got to initialize them. So I've initialized them as well. Um, I've got my function calls here as uh, um, as assignments because they're going to return values and then these are the, just the subroutine calls for the procedures for the last two aspects um, so if I look at the individual functions oops let's um, do it through here Um, so that one just gets the gets the bonus and returns it back. Gets the pay, returns it back. Does the calculation for the bonus, but doesn't return it back. So it's a procedure, not a function. And um, it just displays it here. And the same for the other one. And if we just run it through as a step by step, you can see it working. Uh, let's get up the. Um, have a watch window at the same time. Okay, so let's step through that. You can see, let's have um, an input salary of 12,000. You can see the variables going in. Let's have a bonus of 1,000. Again, you can see the variables going in and pass back into the main. And then we're going to do our calculation using the contribution, which I've passed through because it's uh, not global, so pass it as a parameter. There's our contribution. Outputs it to the screen. And then our contribution for the bonus. Let's see what's happening here that calculation and returns it and you can see I've got my two contributions as outputs so that's it really that's all that's needed um, it does match up with the question in the book okay apart from as I've said at the start Frogrithm doesn't support global variables so we've used that as a parameter and Frogrithm only supports pass by value not pass by reference so we've passed these parameters through and returned the parameters back. So I hope that helps you.